What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for the, allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my members only community, it goes without saying, I love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. This is always a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, whatever it takes, Scorpio, for you to tap into these energies like we always do around about this time. Mm, give me a second, Scorpio. <clears throat> I'm, what I'm hearing is somebody somebody thinks this time is, is like every other time, Scorpio, and I feel like it's not. I feel like you've pretty much made up your mind to leave this person. What I don't understand is, <clears throat> um, Scorpio, whoever this is, whoever your person is, why is it that people think you're going to, like, it seemed to me you think, the more of, of your life that you gave them, that they stole in most cases, <laughs> it just seemed like after 10 years, like after two years of being fake and not showing, not doing what you said you was going to do, and after three years, it seemed like to me the more the years increase, that that person would get scared and be like, okay, I got to step my game up. In other words... What I'm hearing is this person, when y'all split, I feel like they're going to go off the grid. Because, see, I feel like this person going to revert back to if they could just, like, save some money. If they, could, if they could get a good bank account. Like, this person, they still thinking about the outside. They still thinking about material things. And they still think a Scorpio going to wait for their ass while they off the grid. Get, like... What people need to understand about a Scorpio, when we split, we it's already all that shit you got going on about them coming back and all, it's not going to happen. And what I really don't understand is because what I do know is once Scorpio actually turn that thing off, pull that energy back, what I know is the, the your person, Scorpio, what I'm hearing is they know now. It feels different, but they're rationalizing in their mind that it's going to be the same. Right? Follow me on this. Now, it would seem to me, if I felt like, you know, just like if a person heard, you know, they, they laying people off. You're going you gonna to be there on time. You're going to hustle like a motherfucker to do your production or whatever your job is. Right? This is what I'm saying. With this person, they doing the total opposite. They thinking that they going, they reverting right back to stupid shit. Like this person is thinking they'll go off the grid and save up a whole lot of money. And then what? Like you think Scorpio ain't going to have a lot of money on the grid and love and happiness and all. Like you think Scorpio going to what? Why are you doing all this stupid shit? Spiritual lessons. Your first card out. What we say about the first card, the most important card. But what I was about to say, it seemed like to me... If Scorpio not, we be pulling out all the stops right now. If somebody truly love you, or somebody truly wants something, they'll do whatever's required until they can't no more. And what people don't understand is when they say this type of shit or send this type of energy into something that's already, that we already know is a spiritual lesson, we quickly know what the spiritual lesson is. It says this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Thank you, because I got it. We have it. We have the spiritual lesson. The spiritual lesson is... If somebody don't love you, they just don't love you. The spiritual lesson is once somebody get the lesson, it's time to move on. Anything after that, you know, now I'm giving you my shit. I'm giving my time away. I'm throwing it out the window. Right? 
Because when somebody know they on the verge of divorce from somebody they've been living with two, three, five, seven years, however many years, 10, 13. And the first thing come to your mind when you feel Scorpio energy is no longer loving you. The first thing that come to your mind, see your heart ain't even, this could be an air sign, your heart ain't even working. Why? Because you don't love this person. This person don't love you, Scorpio. They never did. This person was an opportunist. Plus, this was a spiritual lesson about opportunists. No matter what you do, they're going to be thinking about themselves and money. Okay? Moving forward. What else? Okay. All right. We'll take all of them. What's the energy on the bottom of the deck? It says, I'm not financially stable. Yeah, I know you ain't. That's the overall energy. Because I feel like opportunists, like I said, I feel like this person saw you as an opportunity. They did. It said, I will show you some signs and synchronicities. See, that's what I'm talking about. That card right there, that's what I'm saying. Like, this person thinking about going off the grid, whatever the fuck that mean to them. Like, not paying bills like they already not fucking doing. So this person think if they can eliminate bills, they can save up enough money in a year. This is what I'm hearing, Scorpio. They can save up enough money in a year to either revenge you, they think, or whatever the fuck. Instead of this person saying, damn, every morning Scorpio wake up, she need to have some flowers or a card or, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Because if somebody love you, that's what they going to do. If somebody in love with you, somebody who was always quiet, guarded, kept everything under, didn't really, you know, show emotion. This is the person who got their hands around your ankles now, crying and sobbing. They ain't got to say a word. Now you feel the love. Who am I talking to? This person cold. They icy. They still guard it. They mad at you because you don't want to give them no more of your life, Scorpio. Who am I talking to? Intuition? I can't make this shit up. They know you finna leave. They know it. It says you already know the answer you seek. They already know. And what they come up with, I'm going to live off the grid. <laughs> I'm going to show Scorpio, okay. I'm sorry I criticize you. Mm -hmm. This person could be an alcoholic because that sounded like a text message or some shit like that. I didn't know how to comfort you. No, you didn't know how to love me because you don't love me. It's just simple. We ain't got to talk about it. You ain't got to text me no more. Now you're drunk. You want to talk it out. No, that's the reason why we're apart because you was always drunk or you was always high. And what you said when you was drunk and high to me was the most real shit out of the whole connection. Somebody been with somebody, what, 13 years? And out of them 13 years, they probably drunk, what, we'll say a year? <laughs> but that year they drunk and the shit they said in that year was more potent than the whole 13 years connection. It's like, what the fuck? You let me down, yeah. Yeah, I'm, see what I'm saying? This person, they want you to feel like you did something wrong. They want you to still continue to get them some shit. This person could be a little bipolar. Or just stupid. Take it out, resonate. And then I, it says, I regret this time we lost. Boy, please. I know you do because now the, the ain't no fruit. Shit drying up and barren. And then people want to act like you was the person who wronged them. Let's get a, um, a Oracle Energy real quick before we get into um, the Tarot Scorpio. So, in the middle of your reading, you got, I am sorry I criticized you. Your first card out was life lessons, and your last energy was, I regret the time we lost. Like, this person is really, like, crazy. Because I'm telling you, with this card, this person, they, they, they thinking of a way to, like, come back. They're not thinking of a way they can improve who they are. They're not trying to conform or like open up their heart because they, they their heart never opened up to you. That's just what I'm getting. You love who you love. And this person, they, they you know, 
Your intuition told you a long time ago. This person showed you who they were a long time ago. You just chose to, you know, I just feel like Scorpio, you chose to go on with this. Thinking you could change somebody. All right, your first energy out is the newt. And it says urgency here. Yeah. Because like I said, I feel like once you learn to listen, then what's now you're just wasting time here. And this is urgent. I just saw omens under the bottom of the deck. I want to get two more of these, Scorpio. All right, so we have Swan, Fidelity. Yeah, see, that's another thing, this urgent and fidelity. Like, I just feel like, you know, you're with somebody who who is sleeping around or even... To me, Scorpio, with the swan and the fidelity, it's like, it's, it's giving me that this is something that just started, maybe at work. I don't know, I always thought swans was white. This swan is black, so I don't know, this person could be dealing with another Scorpio. I'm also getting, too, with the fidelity card and urgency, I feel like you're involving yourself with somebody who's you know, basically it's cheating because they're either going to lunch with this person, they're riding, you know, like doing whatever the job is together or some shit like that is what I'm getting. Yeah, now now look, it looks, it's two swans. You can see them now. I only saw one in the beginning. So yeah, this is somebody, somebody keeping somebody a secret, somebody hiding something. That's what the fuck going on. And I feel like with the urgency being your first card, I feel like, Scorpio, I feel like something is happening, like, quick. Like, you find out about this, or you, um... Let me get one more. I'm hearing, too, with that newt and that swan, urgency and fidelity. I feel like, too, this person is holding you up for being for from being in something that, you know, is like... Monogamous, they don't want to sleep around with other people. Hmm. What else here for Scorpio? One more for Scorpio. Yeah, you pulled the fly disease. I feel like, too, somebody could um, get an STD here. And I feel like, Scorpio, if it's you, you know this person gave it to you because you're not sleeping around. They are. Yeah, premonition on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you had a premonition or some type of dream about this shit, about, about your um, spouse or boyfriends uh, sleeping around with somebody at work or, like, going, leaving work, having sex with somebody. I'm getting that. Hmm. All right, let's get into the tarot here and clarify. All right, cards flipping out, Scorpio. Let's clarify here. I feel like somebody criticized, you know, criticized. With, with I am sorry, I criticized you in the middle of the reading. I feel like that was the determining factor. That was the that was where everything turned. You know, everything kind of like exploded, came to an end here. Because I feel like this person is a hypocrite. I feel like everything they accused you of or everything they tried to, you know, say about you, that's what that's exactly what they were doing. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> That's your overall energy, Scorpio, here. Yeah, so with the Ten of Pentacles, that's just what I'm hearing. Like, you, you're you being held up in something, Scorpio, with somebody who's pouring cups other places. I feel like this could, this might not even be the only person they doing this with. And like I said, for some of them, yeah, it could be a Gemini magician on the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, they hiding this. It's a secret. The the thing about this Ten of Pentacles is let me know it's somebody's husband, somebody you live with. It ain't just somebody you, you know, in your past. This some this going on right fucking now. That's why the urgency card, your first card out. 
this a home record. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You're going to walk away from this shit. And I feel like you walking away from this Scorpio and you don't even know what's really going on. You just dreaming about it or having premonition about it or like thinking about it. Yeah, the Nine of Cups in reverse. Your person could be an alcoholic, drink a lot. The Nine of Cups in reverse, that's somebody who just, that's all they do drink. I feel like too, this person, this person gonna get, this person gonna have even, this person gonna get even more like into other things like drugs and shit like that with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You're walking away from some type of family dynamic, Scorpio. This don't have shit to do with a job. For some of y'all, I hear y'all leaving like, like stability behind. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> You doing it quick too. For some of y'all, y'all leaving with your clothes on your back. For some of y'all, when y'all leave this person, they take everything. That's even better, Scorpio. What else here for the Eight of Cups? Clap for the Eight of Cups. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. For some of y'all, y'all gonna start from fresh, but that's good. You know why? Because you're gonna get a lot of good news about opportunities now. Things that's, you know, you're gonna bounce right back. It don't matter. Yeah, Ace of Swords, tell the truth. A lot of victories and miracles happening in your life, Scorpio. That's why it's so urgent. I'm hearing you holding up your own blessings. Look, yep, the Knight of Wands and the Death card. <laughs> Who holding you up? You holding you up. Look at that Knight of Wands. You supposed to be in that energy of let's get it now, ten toes down. I feel like you're you're passionate about you, Scorpio. That's the, that's that, that that on that shit. I can't make it no more plain. Like if you done been with somebody all these years, even I don't give a damn, even six months. If they ain't passionate about you, you must not be passionate about you, right? So this is what this is saying with the Death card and the Knight of Wands. You getting passionate about you, and everybody else is too. That be the that on that. Fuck it. You don't care about losing everything. Yeah, look, the Ten of Swords in that shit. The Death Card, walk away. This person ain't gonna change because they don't feel like they gotta change. This person wanna change for 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 money or some kind of gain here. This person will never walk away from money. At the end of the day, that's all they care about. Why is Fidelity here? Yeah, the Two of Cups. I told you that fidelity and clarifying it is the two of cups. First card, most important card. I'm telling you, some you supposed to be you supposed to be in a soulmate connection right now, Scorpio. For whoever this reading is, and I ain't talking about age. I'm talking about connections. I feel like too. I'm hearing something about seven D dimensions. Like this person comes from the seven D dimensions. <laughs> Damn, Scorpio. Like what? What did I just hear? You still trying to figure out 5D. This person from the 7D I just heard. What? <laughs> I just heard too um, with this swan and this two of cups. Because swan, I, I keep hearing swan and ugly duckling here. But listen, I, I, I'm hearing too somebody is practicing the wrong culture. Or somebody... Somebody's power isn't in the ancestors on, on their father's side. It's their mama's side. They practicing somebody practicing a religion and then or or practicing some type of something culture. Something that has to do with culture, but it's like it's not it's not powerful because it's not it's not your ancestors is what I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But with the swan and the two of cups, love for self, I feel like somebody looking for themselves, but in the wrong, I don't know why I'm getting in religion or like, or like culture or like you're on the wrong, like your power isn't in whatever that is. I don't know what that, who that was for, but somebody's having premonitions about this. Yeah, see, look, the swan, the two of cups, and then not in the knight of cups, yeah. Scorpio, I just heard, I, I know this is going to sound weird as fuck. I just heard the universe, the universe is courting you. Yeah, so like you're courting yourself. Like you're finding out how to love, like, what is this? I feel like you figuring out that you, 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 the stuff that you thought you loved, you don't love. And this new stuff that you love that you never thought you loved. Who am I talking to?
I don't even know how that just came out or sounded, but y'all moving forward. The Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Somebody, 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 Scorpio, somebody already in your energy is like anticipating or waiting for, you know, this breakup or this break, mental break. I don't know. Some Somebody know you, Scorpio, I feel like. And they just waiting, like they saying, oh, not like every time they see something this person doing, they, they like, oh, man, I know they ass finna be done for lunch. But it's like you, who up, you, 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 this was a 10 of Pentacles to you. So you didn't just walk away from it. Somebody wanted you to, you know, cause you found out they was cheating or you found out whatever the fuck. Somebody wanted you to like, somebody wanted you to court them while you was married. You wouldn't do it, Scorpio. I'm getting that. For some of y'all with the nine of swords and, and um the nine of swords on that ten of swords, since you ended it with this Gemini here, because here go again, the magician, the six of pentacles in reverse, this person just would not give you what you wanted. They more focus on money and them, what you can give them or what they can do for themselves. They don't they don't give a fuck about love. Okay, so that's that's I feel like with that nine of swords coming out with that ten of swords and this magician, it's like to you, you like wish damn like you wishing you woulda, you know, did cheated on this person, or, or at least had some kind of connection with these people that were really trying to make some type of connection with you when this person really wasn't. All right, why is the magician here? Yeah, the two of swords in reverse. Like whoever this is, you. This this is a this this is a decision like you you put on your rose colored glasses Scorpio you smiled every day for some of y'all this was financially stable it was but it wasn't like you know you was living your best life now no shit like that but you wasn't you know missing no meals or wanting for shit and I'll say needing shit so I feel like with the two of swords in reverse you you kind of turn a blind out of certain stuff. Like somebody criticizing you when you know you could have just like, if you would have been like them Scorpio or been like yourself or I, I should say if you, if you were not in love with this person, you would have criticized them too, but your criticism would have been the truth. But I feel like with the two of cups, the knight of cups and the swan, I feel like you never treated this person like you wanted them to feel. You always treated this person how you felt. Okay, moving forward. That's why it was so hard. Yeah, look, the Ten of Cups. It was so hard for you to leave this 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 Ten of Cups situation because I feel like it, it you know, it's like you were, you, what you were doing, Scorpio, was still pretending that this was a Ten of Cups. With that Two of uh, Swords, in reverse and it being clarified about it like you still pretending like this shit like it's gonna change or like this person gonna change and even though now this person with the two of swords in reverse the ten of cups clarifying it is just what the fuck i said this person don't understand love now that they know you leaving them in this person's mind, they're not thinking, oh, man, like, I'm, I'm, this shit actually going down. Like, what can I do to save my marriage? This person thinking about how they can save money and get themselves together financially. Because with them, it's financial. It's financial. Once I get financial, I'll go to the next person. Well, you still fucked up and broken and saying you ain't. So money ain't got shit to do with it. Moving forward, Scorpio with the Two of Swords and the Ten of Cups. You finna have to make a tough decision now about some shit that been going on a long time. This is a marriage. Disease, clarified. The Empress. The King of Cups. You could have been dealing with a Cancer or another Scorpio here. But I feel like, I feel like with this, um... Some of y'all could have kids with this person too. Scorpio, what I'm getting is, I, I, I'm getting this person to get an STD or whatever, but I'm getting, you don't get it. Why? Because you ain't sleeping with their ass no more. That's why you don't fucking get it. Yeah, the eight of pentacles, you like done. You don't give a fuck. You ain't, you ain't doing shit. Because this person, even 
And Scorpio, it's like, like I said, y'all, Scorpio still getting data. Scorpio still getting data on this person. It's like, and the more you live with this person still, the more you wake up on the other side of cause I cause I'm just saying me, I just see me. Like if I if I felt like I did, if I knew know I did something wrong, these people, they do what they want to do. They don't honor their vows. They don't restrain themselves from doing certain things if it means their marriage is going to break up or you're going to leave them or whatever. They don't give a fuck how good of a woman you are. Because, see, in their mind, they think if they get money, they can go get another good woman. Child, boo. Not, not ever realizing they, done, they probably done had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve good women. They just ain't no fucking good. Moving forward, why is this Eight of Pentacles in reverse? You ain't fucking with it. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's like... Person could be sleeping with a Sag. And you like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to take a risk and get the fuck on now. And really, to me, Scorpio, you ain't taking a risk. Because this person ain't gave you shit. And even though this person know you leaving, they still not trying to give you shit. They, in their mind, you look the Four of Cups. <laughs> in their mind... It came out in reverse, Scorpio. In their mind, they're not even thinking about the missed opportunity with you. they thinking about now they want to eat right. they thinking about now they want to get their uh, side hustle started. Not, oh, now they want to grow now. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, yeah. They worry about money, the king of pentacles. In reverse. They chasing it. They chasing it. You know what's going on, Scorpio. The high priestess. <laughs> shit, I'm tapped in. The world. Why you figuring that shit out? Why you living off the grid and all this shit? I'm going to be just island hopping and continent jumping and eating good food and just forgetting about this shit. I feel like, Scorpio, I'm here too. Every, you're going to forget about it. The high priestess, I feel like the only the only way you going to remember this seven of cups in reverse. See, it's in reverse because you, you now you don't have that. You, you don't have a lot of choices. You might be married again. That might be what they're saying. Like you narrowed it down to one. Somebody narrowed it down to one with you. And I feel like whoever this is keep trying to give you this fish, this cup with this fish in it. And you like, bitch, you ain't got the right bait. Never did. What else here? Why is that seven of cups in reverse? Yeah, the three of cups. Cause now you are you you know you only with a small crowd of people and they celebrating you. Yeah, page of cups. Somebody some a new community here for you. A new love as well. Yeah. King of Wands in the reverse. <laughs> so this person probably married too. Who they fucking with at work? Cause they're King of Wands in reverse. So this person. They, they with your person for sex, Scorpio. They don't even like their ass. I guess they doing more than what they doing doing with them than you. Yeah, because they ain't giving you shit. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They can keep that shit too with the STD. Yeah, the ten, you got the Ten of Swords twice. It's like they can have all that shit. The STD, they can, you know, blow their back out or whatever they wasn't doing when they was with you. You choose stability here. The Four of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. All right, Scorpio, let's get a hustle here. Let's see what's going on with your money, right? Everything is fine. You got both of the Ten of Swords. You got the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Like, what? A lot of celebrating here. A lot of good news. I feel like, too, that Seven of Cups, I feel like that that is your community. That's saying, you know, people choosing you, you know, specifically. The night, um, the, the, um, the Fool card, too, it just gives me, like, something starting, something starting that people don't know a lot about. But I feel like because it's you, Scorpio, that's endorsing it, I feel like they're going to invest in it, hook, line, and sinker, and they're going to be glad that they did I feel like you lost a. I missed. I feel like you missed a lot of opportunities um, in this connection, and I just feel like it's still for nothing because at the end of the day, all you wanted was a happy home and a happy family with this person, 
and this person don't understand what that is. So your overall energy on the bottom of the deck says leadership, not meant to take orders from others. So for some of you guys, you could be getting a raise or being um, promoted um, to some type of CEO or managerial position here. I'm hearing don't get comfortable. <laughs> And you have greedy here. Yeah, I feel like that's I feel like that's all this person you were connected with was trying to connect themselves, attach themselves to you because of what's coming to you. But guess what, Scorpio? You got it by spirit. You're protected. Always. Your money protected too. It says time to take things to the next level, yo. In your life period, Scorpio, full circle. That's why I say with this leadership, because that's what this is clarifying. It's almost somebody goes into leadership and then quickly realizes they need to own their own shit. I just said this move in silence. If I didn't say it, I was thinking the Scorpio. Don't let nobody know what you're doing. This is a very critical time. Cause I feel like whatever this is you doing or, or um whatever this is you create, I feel like it's it, it should be top secret. Cause I, I feel like it's very original. Yeah. Money moves. It's very original. It has to be silent because somebody could try to be try to look through your windows or try to be your friend. This sounds like grade school shit, but I'm for real. Or tell you they want to invest in you. You know, for if you're a tarot card reader, somebody could be getting tarot card readings from you to just to see if you're spiritual here. Um, you could have you know enemies in your camp. I'm hearing. And the overall energy on the bottom of the deck says windfall of money is coming your way. Absolutely. That's your overall energy. Scorpio, that has been your reading. Let those ads play. I love you guys.